What is going on you guys? Welcome to another Xenoblade Chronicles 2 video. In this video, I'm going to be explaining some points about how to access the challenge mode in the new update that we got. So, first things first, you need to have downloaded the update. Make sure that when you start the download, do not open up the game. Let the download finish. Make sure the update is ready to go and then open up the game. Okay, that's the first step. Second step, make sure you have the expansion pass. You need the expansion pass in order to access challenge mode. Okay, third step. Whenever you ha once you have the expansion pass, make sure this is just a, this is a safety precaution because we think there might be a glitch involving this. So, make sure that you are in a completely different area that isn't the Aletha ruins in the kingdom of Raya. Okay? So, do not accept the gifts in this area you can go to the stomach you can go anywhere else so long as it's not here we may think that there is a glitch that if you do accept the items when you're here you cannot access the portal so make sure you're in a different area accept the items there from the expansion pass menu accept the items and then make your way over there now once you've accepted the challenge once you accept the gifts Make sure you have the required party members that you need in order to access this. You need Nia in the driver form. You need Mark. I forget who else it was. I didn't really take note because I didn't have an issue with this. But there were some people that said that they couldn't access it. So just make sure you have the appropriate members in your party. Okay, once you have the appropriate members in your party and you are in a different area... Teleport to the Aletha Ruins. Once you teleport here, the portal beat will be right in front of you. Right here. Here's the portal. Okay? Now, another thing that came up in the stream. Somebody said that someone told said person that you needed to beat the game in order to access the challenge mode. That is not true. One of my friends had a different file. They were in chapter 4 or 5. And they were, to, they were able to access the battle mode without having to beat the game. So that is not true. You do not need to beat the game in order to access the challenge mode. So long as you have the required party members, you accept the gifts in a different area, and you teleport it to the Aletha Ruins, you should be able to access the, uh, the challenge mode. Okay? So hopefully this video... It, it was meant to be quick and concise just so that it hits all the topics because believe it or not there were quite a number of people in the stream and we're talking out of like 60 to 100 people saying that they're they were having trouble being able to access the challenge mode and these were the topics that came up so these are the topics that i decided to cover in the video because they needed to be addressed the only thing that was not true that was mentioned was that you needed to beat the game. You do not need to be. You do not need to beat the game. So I'll just go over, go over it one more time. One, make sure you let the download finish all the way before you open up Xenoblade again. Two, make sure you have the expansion pass. You need the expansion pass in order to access this. Three, when you accept the gifts from the expansion pass, make sure that you are in a completely different area that is not the Aletha ruins. We, may, we think that there may be a glitch where if you accept them while you're here, you may not be able to access it. Again, this is just for safety precautions. It, I, could, we could totally, I could be wrong, and that's fine if I'm wrong, but you know, rather safe than sorry. Okay. So once you have accepted the gifts and you're in a different area, make sure you have the appropriate members in the party. Then you can teleport over to the Aletha Ruins. Once you teleport to the Aletha Ruins, the portal will be right here, right in front of you, okay? So that that's all there is to it, you guys. I know it wasn't anything dramatic, but there was just enough complaints or, yeah, enough complaints in the stream where people were having problems that I felt like there was needed, there was a video needed in order to address this to help out everybody, everybody else because I didn't have a problem. Everybody else did or other people did, so I just decided to make this to help everyone out. Okay, so that'll be it for the video. Appreciate you guys watching. As always, you know, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.